Hello, Key, Lana. Miss Kelly Edwards sent us some dark roast ground coffee, 100% Kona coffee. Um, so, in just a couple minutes, we will be roasting some of this up and giving it a try. All right, here we go. Time to make some dark roast coffee. It is two tablespoons per six ounces of water. This is dark roast Kona coffee. Measuring it up. Can't wait to try it. It's brewing up a storm already. It smells nice, actually. It smells very good. There it goes. Looks nice, dark, and rich. It smells very good, and Whitney's watching. I like the sound of it. That sounds really cool. We will have coffee shortly. All right, here we go. We're going to serve up the uh, dark roast kind of coffee. Go ahead. A little bit of cream and sugar, not much. So they can get the full flavor. Look at that. Two, almost two full cups. With just a little bit of sugar. Don't forget your cream. And what's nice about this company too is the earthquakes and the tsunamis in Japan. They actually take some of their proceeds from their nuts and coffee and donate and also to the local communities, which is very nice of them. So you can check them out at hklcoffee.com and they're also on Facebook. It is very hot, so Here we go. They're going to try it out. It's supposed to be very rich. That is rich. Kind of woodsy also. It's very good. I like it. It's good? Mm -hmm. Very good. So just a little bit of cream and sugar, not much. Right. So what would you describe the flavor? Does it taste rich and pure? Yeah. Yeah, I would say it tastes very rich and pure, and a nice, um, strong coffee flavor. Uh, much better than anything you can buy at the grocery shelf. You too, went? Yeah, I agree. Okay. Well, thank you, Miss Kelly Edwards, for sending some more stuff out. We are enjoying the coffee and the nuts so far. Go check them out, hklcoffee.com.